Hello, Global Operations coaching team, coaches. Greetings from sunny Orlando. Wanted to say hello and thank you to you for your time and investment in our Global Operations leaders. Just today, I was looking at some of the feedback that they fill out after each of your coaching calls and was just so encouraged to see how much it's helping them, benefiting them, encouraging them in many ways. And so thank you for your time and investment, encouragement, and prayer for them. I appreciate that so much. And I think of you guys and pray for you often. In fact, here in my office, uh, right here, I've got the full picture array of uh, all of you, uh, as well as the coaching bridge up here that I use as well. And appreciate you so much, the time you take again with our ops leaders. Miss being with you on our call last month. I was on sabbatical, had a great sabbatical, excellent time, uh, extra time with the Lord, learning and reading. And, you know, sabbatical is like a long Sabbath, and it was a great time uh, for me to think about how do I have a Sabbath heart on an ongoing basis, uh, not just during a sabbatical, but even when I'm in the midst of a crazy schedule and activities like you might be now. And so in the spirit of uh, leading with questions, I'll just ask you, uh, how can you continue to cultivate and develop a Sabbath heart? And what steps might you take to Sabbath well regularly? Um, one thing I might suggest is a couple books that are real meaningful to me that I reread during my sabbatical. One of them is called The, the Rest of God by Mark Buchanan. Excellent book, kind of a dual meaning in the title there. How do you enter the rest of God and get to know the rest of God? <clears throat> and, uh, and then here, Ruth Haley Barton's book, Strengthening the Soul of Your Leadership. Also excellent. I go back to it frequently to be reminded uh, of the need to enter into God's rest regularly and have a Sabbath heart regardless of circumstances. So uh, hope you're doing well and uh, look forward to, again, being with you on our next call. Thanks again for all you're doing to invest in our ops leaders. It's making a huge difference and I appreciate it so much. Take care and God bless.